what's up guys, Fancy Pants here with another plugin tutorial for you. This time we're going to go over Bleep Fishing. That's right, Bleep Fishing. It's a, a pretty cool plugin that, you know, enhances fishing and makes it less boring. Uh, even with MCMMO attached, it has no issues with it. So don't be afraid to put it on your server and have some fun. Um, so with this uh, plugin, you can actually do tournaments and um, so your players can be competitive against each other and win a prize. Uh, to do that, you're just going to have to do slash BF tournament uh, start, and let's do Monday fun day. You just hit tab, and I believe you can make more of these too. It's up to you. So, there we go. We just do slash BF. It'll let us know what exactly is going on, what tournament there is. Um, the goal is to catch the largest fish, and it has like three hours to do that in. Um, so, wanted to go ahead and grab a fish here you just stick your pole in the water I kind of hyped up the pole because I didn't want to wait forever in a day for a fish <laughs> so kind of cheating but not <laughs> see it's all right that's that's a good example it doesn't interfere with MCMMO treasures or anything like that too um, you can level up as well so you don't have to worry about that um, you puffer fish uh, What's great is it also has about five zones, and each zone has a different kind of fish into it. Um, I made a little chart so you guys can go ahead and see it, um, and see what zone has, you know, what type of fish into it, because you can't, like, get bluegill where I am. It's only tuna and red grouper, apparently. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so on the right hand side, when you catch one, it'll tell you what it is, if it's a common, what rank it is, what, how much it is in cash, um, which is awesome. Uh, so you can just click on this and you can do BF sell, or if you have more, you can BF sell all. Um, I like it all. Um, you can change the amount, I believe, in the config file. Uh, but what's really cool is it's so annoying when your inventory actually fills up. Um, and, uh, he's made a solution for that. He made a s small fishing bag, uh, where you can right click it and it automatically stores all your fish in here. I got 13 red groupers and 14 tunas over here. Um, and I can, you know, withdraw it, take it out if I want, put it back in, basically that. And when it gets filled up, we can upgrade it. Uh, and you have to fill the bag to upgrade it, which is great. Um. And I believe there might be two or three levels above that, so it's it's wonderful to have around. I suggest, just suggest everybody make a little fish bag, uh, just so things are easier. Um, behind me, you'll see a scoreboard, fancy leaderboard, <laughs> uh, for plugin owners. Um, if you put a scoreboard in an area that only has a certain type of fish, um, that fish will show up on the board and who's the leader leader for that. But if you put a fish that is not in the area, it'll say bluegill, um, and it's not available, which means bluegill fish cannot be caught here. So don't we try to do that. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, to do that, okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a sign. Uh, it's not too complicated. It's pretty easy. You just put on the first line BF, which is bleep fish. And what type of uh, fish it is, so tuna, and you don't have to put what place, like who's in first place, you, if you wanted to put like who's in third place and have a couple different signs for that, uh, you can, but I'm just going to leave it as that and it automatically picks who's the first place, and it shows you tuna is in this area, uh, that's the largest that was caught, and it was epic. But, yeah, as I said, um, if it's not available, it will say not available as soon as you kind of plug it in. Which is great because you know, you know, what's being, uh, what's being caught where. <laughs> um, let me show you how to create the fishing bag because I know a lot of you probably would have a question about that. Um, you just need one of any of the special fish uh, and go to a crafting table. Put it right there. And let's put string here. Oh, here, here, and here. Followed by another, boom. And then you can create another fishing bag. So yeah, I don't know. I guess you can have a couple of these, but yeah. So that's how you make another fishing bag. Um, 
But what, uh, what also is good is if you are in a boat, uh, you also get a kind of bonus, especially to like uh, treasure and stuff. Um, it gives you better, not better fish, I guess, but it increases it for you. So if you're in a tournament, I suggest always being in a boat and uh, kind of doing it that way. And hopefully you guys will win pretty quick. Um, we'll go into the config and I will show you exactly how you can configure it. All right, guys, here is the config.yml file. Um, it's very configurable. Uh, you can turn on and off the uh, scoreboard. You can um, enable tournaments. You need to do this in order to start tournaments on the server. Um, you can add area permissions, use the economy or don't use the economy, use fish bags or don't use fish bags. <laughs> As I said, it, it is uh, configurable. Um, and let's see you can allow wandering traders i put no on that because i don't like wandering traders um your treasure chance your boat treasure bonus that's when you're in a boat and if you just want to do it in a couple different worlds um you can enable this to true and just put the worlds you want some people have a creative world and they don't want to have people fishing in a creative world which is a great idea <laughs> um just put it to the allowed wor worlds and you'll be fine uh this is the rarities of um what types of fish there are i believe you can make some more you just gotta add in the weight the color code and the price modification for it so common obviously is the smallest legendary is the biggest um the areas um so this tells you what uh what cold has um what biomes it considers to be cold so if you wanted to i don't know say jungle is a cold biome you just add it to the list and and it'll identify as that just make sure it's yeah, yeah, on that list. <laughs> uh, but there are uh, five different zones. I went ahead and, as I said, I made a little graphic for what fish can be caught in what zones. Um, so be sure to use that. Um, and if we scroll back down, um, we can see what types of fish are where. So bluegill, it has a little lore on it, minimum size, maximum size, model data, uh, which is going to be I believe the salmon fish, right? Oh, wait, no, model data. Oh, no, you're just increasing that a number. Yeah, okay. Um, the base price of it, what area it's in, if it needs to be rainy, <laughs> which is funny because you can enable it and add new fish like that, it's great. Um, and what time of day you can put it as, minimum max height. Like, it's very, as I said, very configurable, and it's kind of awesome to go through. Um you can also edit the treasures, like in your legendary, you'll have, you know, diamonds, ancient debris, um, heart of the sea, so you can definitely edit it. I would suggest editing it to something a little bit more, um, rewarding <laughs> instead of a sea pickle, uh, for the smallest, but hey, it's just started off the plugin, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, also in the plugin, there is, um, an items config. Uh, which tells you what it is the fish bag, um, what material is using, what model data is using. Uh, there's also a chance to get message in a bottle, uh, which is <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, it has um, messages from all the uh, I think patron supporters in there, so that can't be edited. But yeah, that's pretty cool that that's there. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Open that. Okay, and this is the tournament configuration, so uh, it tells you what the prizes are for the tournaments, and you can make your own if you like. Just make sure to follow the exact same format right here. Um, the cooldown, the duration, kind of all of that with it. It's kind of self-explanatory here if there's a little timer at the top or not. Um, yeah, so I think this is pretty cool. Um, it allows you to have a lot of control all over the plugin and keeps your people on your server very entertained, which is great because what we all hate is when people get bored <laughs> and then things become unfun and that's not cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically uh, the Bleep Fish plugin. And uh, yeah, I suggest uh, you guys use it. It's pretty fun, pretty cool to use. If you guys have any questions, let me know or um, I will link the spigot page uh, so you can talk to the author and whatnot uh please support him he did an amazing job on this plugin i really love it and i think it's fantastic so uh yeah 
Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and see ya!